Well, I got by anyway, and finally succeeded in, in getting reelected, believe it or not, four years after that. And it was uh, a surprise to everybody. I remember that there was one gentleman who was broadcasting on the night of the election in 1948, and he was telling the people exactly why I was not going to win. I heard him about six o'clock. I went over to Excelsior Springs, and took one of those hot baths over there, and went upstairs to the suite that they'd given me, and the radio happened to be turned on. And Calton Barn was telling them all about why I wouldn't win. At that time, I had about a million two hundred thousand votes, and the other fellow had nine hundred thousand. But Calton Barn said, just wait till they come in. Well, I happened to wake up about 12 o'clock and listened again. The radio was still on. At that time, I was about to had about 2,100,000 votes, and the other fellow had about 1,800,000, but I was still going to lose. I went back to bed and went to sleep. And pretty soon, the Secret Service chief came in and woke me up about 4 o'clock, and he said, Mr. President, you better get up and listen to this. I got up. I had about 2,400,000 votes, and the other fellow had about 2,100,000. And I turned around to him. I said, Jim, Harness up the horses. We've got to go back to Kansas City now. We're in trouble for another four years. And we were. <laughs> okay. One. Got it.